During this video, we're going to be looking at the Canon EOS 1100D. To insert the battery, pull the release switch back and open the battery door on the bottom. The power button is on the top next to the mode dial. When you look through the viewfinder, if the AF points don't look sharp, adjust the dial here until you can see them clearly. For a lot of situations, the fully automatic mode, symbolized by a green rectangle, will be fine. Select this and then look through the viewfinder and place your finger on the shutter button. The button has two steps. If you hold it down halfway, the focus points in the viewfinder will light up. These indicate what the camera is focusing on. If you're not happy, we can put the camera into a manual focus mode using the switch on the side of the lens. Turning the focus ring will then allow us to focus on our subject. Pressing the shutter button all the way will release the shutter and take a picture. There are other automatic modes which are designed for specific situations. These are flash off, creative auto which allows you to change several settings by pressing Q, portrait mode, landscape mode, macro mode for close up photography, sports mode, night mode and movie mode. In order to take things a step further, we also have manual modes. P is an automatic exposure mode which sets the aperture and shutter speeds automatically. TV gives the shutter the priority and is used mainly for adjusting the shutter speed. Exposure can also be altered in TV mode. AV mode enables the user to set the aperture manually for creative use of depth of field. Exposure is also adjustable by pressing the AV button and turning the dial. M mode allows the user to set shutter speed and aperture manually. And A depth mode is a mode that sets the depth of field automatically. In the manual modes we can also change the film speed by pressing the ISO button and selecting the appropriate speed. We can also adjust the white balance in these modes in order to achieve the right or wrong light source depending on what results we're looking for. We also have the ability to change the focus mode, one shot is best for still subjects, once the shutter button is pressed halfway it will focus. When using AI focus mode, the camera will select the appropriate mode depending on the movement of the subject. The AI server mode is better for moving images as when the shutter is pressed halfway, it will continually focus until the shutter button is pressed all the way. A useful function is the ability to select individual focus points by pressing the AF point selection button and selecting the individual point we would like the camera to focus on. In order to take more than one picture at once we can press the drive mode button, we can select continuous shooting, this will take pictures continually while the button is pressed. There are self timer modes where the camera will take a picture after 10 seconds or 2 seconds and the last mode enables us to take up to 10 pictures after 10 seconds. Metering mode is the method of measuring brightness. Evaluative metering is when the camera sets the exposure automatically. Partial metering is effective when the background is brighter than the subject we are taking photos of. The red circle shows a general area which is weighted to achieve exposure. Center weighted average metering is when it is weighted at the center and then averaged out throughout the scene and it is really for advanced users. In order to play back images, we can press the play button, we can zoom in and out of these and cycle through the pictures. To download your pictures, connect the USB cable, go to my computer and open Canon EOS 1100D, then SD, DCIM and 100 Canon. Don't forget when you're not using the SLR to place a lens cap over the end of the lens to prevent the lens getting damaged.